My name is Philip James. Today we're at the Taiwan International Balloon Festival. Welcome to 2020 Taiwan International Balloon Festival. 朋友们好,欢迎来到2020台湾国际热气球嘉年华。Okay, what's your pick for the balloon festival? Morning or evening? Uh, evening time's a party, but everybody seems to like the morning. Pilot says it's a little windy this evening. <laughs> this evening is a little bit windy, but still we are there. Trying to make as much as possible people happy. That's what we do every day. Hey, but the ride is for fun and chilly, right? <laughs> They call it the International Balloon Festival. Why? Not that there's a lot of international people here, but the pilots are from all over the world. So we're going to go meet some of them. My name is Yuda Fujita from Japan. Nice to meet you. Okay, konnichiwa, minasan. Ohayo gozaimasu. Yoko to Taiwan Balloon Festival 2020. Tanoshin dete kudasai. My name is Wout Bakker and I'm from uh, Wijngaarden, a small village in the Netherlands. Ik ben Wout Bakker, from from Wijngaarden in Zuid-Holland, in Nederland. Felipe uh, from Alto Paraíso de Goiás, Brazil. I'm Tao from Thailand. I live in Chiang Mai. Meu nome é Luciano Graz e eu sou do Brasil. My name is Nghia. I'm from Vietnam. I live in the Da Nang city. My name is Hafa. I'm from Brazil. And this balloon is from Holland. Welcome to Ballooning. Good to see you. Eh? Okay, my name is Karimullah Sayed. I'm from India. Welcome to Taiwan International Balloon Festival 2020. Okay, so the question is, what's better, evening or morning? Morning is the better. Every day, on the sunshine, sunset, sunshine moment, 
the best time of Panuni. And it's almost more calm, it just feels different. Yes, there's no have much wind and have a nice uh, warm to to day and good vision too. Yeah. I think I think I got a vote for the morning. Yeah. yeah. Good morning, sir. Welcome to Baloney. <laughs> We have a so-called box, 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 box square. Normally the balloon, 90% of the time you fly one direction, you can see a little left or right. Sometimes the higher wind is exactly opposite level, and that's the form of a box. So you fly with one wind, you fly straight up, find the other wind, go back, come down again, and then you complete the box and come back, come back, uh, back to the same place. Okay, get my crown line. Guys, right, here. Valeu, mano. Ajudou pra caralho. É nóis. <laughs> Talking to the other Brazilian there. Because he was on the radio helping me. To find the right wind to come back. It's not, it's not it's very easy tricky, to come back. right? Yeah, yeah, quite tricky. But we managed. I'm very glad. It's called a box wind? Yeah, yeah, exactly. If it was a minimum distance, today we landed. I, when I put my balloon up, my basket was here. I had a basket here. We landed there. Well, they pushed me to the left for the takeoff. So it was pretty near. So for a balloon pilot, now is the biggest challenge is to land where you take off. Because it, it means that you really read, read all the wind correctly. See, you guys now trying to do the same. This guy is the world champion. He won the world Yeah, Japanese. Yeah. He won the world championship in Brazil six years ago. I'm pretty sure he will come back because today we have many wins. He's very good at doing that, so we're all hoping that he can come. We can celebrate together. It's the most important, the most magic thing about Taiwan is that you can, there's no social distances. So I call Planet Taiwan because this is completely different. You see, like everywhere, people are not even going out of their homes. And here we just, we're hugging each other, we're hugging the crew, hugging the, uh, all the pilots. So it's, it's really a special moment to be in Taiwan. You know, See, now he's coming back. He'll manage. There he comes. Yeah, once he goes down, the wind should take him the, from the north to the south. Really? He'll, he'll maybe have to jump the shape, or maybe he will just land there. I'm, I'm guessing he will land there. If you want to get the landing... Oh, come. Now once he goes down, he will get the surface wind coming from the north to the south. And then I'm not sure if he wants to jump the shapes and land in the other side, but I think because of the tether balloon, he would rather land here. So we can just get close to him. Come. Woo! <laughs> yeah, for me it's also a big, uh, how do you say, very proud to be here with him also. Very, I'm a big fan of him. So. <laughs> what do you think about landing commander? Yeah, good. You know? You know this guy? Japan champion. World champion. Yeah. Before. Yes. That's, that's why I'm not worried. I see him flying before he will come back. Because he's used to fly with slow winds and fly to targets. That's what the people do. With competition, they fly to a target, so he's used to fly to target. Nice work, champ! <laughs> thank you, thank you! A little tricky or no? Yeah, tricky, tricky, very hard. <laughs>
Each day, the balloon festival features two flying sessions, 5.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. In between sessions, it is the perfect opportunity to explore area tea farms. Luye is famous for being the home of red oolong tea, which was developed in 2007. Red oolong tea combines the methods of traditional oolong with black tea. It can be cultivated all season long as it is immune from pests, so there is no need to use chemicals. In between morning balloons and evening balloons, nothing better to do than have oolong tea from different tea farms. We are, uh, we're in the tea region of Taiwan and uh, long tea. Long tea, it's so good. Uh, this is an organic farm. It's a very cool vibe. I'll show you around here in a minute, but I can't get over. We don't have the language going on, but we can communicate with eyes, smiles, a little bit of laugh. And uh, I can't get over the warmth of the Taiwan people, Taiwanese people. Uh, in the countryside and just the uh, warm heartedness. It's, uh, it's quite special. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Uh, now we're going with some black tea. We uh, had the hao he, yes. We had a lot of lunong tea. Gonna have a few more sips here of uh, black tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. No. Huh? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Uh, thank you. Wow. She, she. Yes, uh, you know. I, I want to pay, but he says no. Thank you. Thank you. Huh. Goodbye. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. Beautiful shop. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Oh. See you later. Oh. Just a gentle soul, you know. And okay. Really a beautiful shop. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna head to uh, grab some lunch. As we as we depart here, we'll take a look around. Seated here at Al Jai'i. It's a really popular restaurant. It's just about five minutes from the Balloon Festival and everything is made with fresh tea. So when you walk in, you smell the aroma of all this delicious tea. And we have some fresh greens, uh, like a pumpkin, seafood, broth, with tea. Uh, before I get started though, we have the most delicious rice. So this region's known for tea farming and really good rice. And the rice here is like a black tea rice. So there we go, black tea rice. The food is really the food is really good. You can really taste the tea flavor. And this restaurant is cool because it's part tea shop, so you can do tea tasting. And then you have the fresh roasted tea. You can smell it. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Just right here in the restaurant. So you have all this nice aroma of fresh tea. And the food is really fresh. All the ingredients, I think, are grown right here locally. Black Lulong. Uh, black tea. No sugar. Boy, it's hot out. It's like 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Probably 31 degrees Celsius. No better way to cool off than these popular popsicles that are made from fresh fruit locally. And this one is made from sweet apple. 
and they're literally making it right downstairs with all the fresh fruit. They say that sweet apple arrived in Taiwan from South America, that the uh, Spanish traders were responsible for bringing it in to uh, Taiwan. So we're going to cool off a bit before we head back up to the balloon festival. Morning or night is better? What's better, morning or evening? Morning. It's not too hard and um, the beautiful sunrise. Yeah. So with the wind. And yeah, I like morning. I think so. Morning. I think it has my boat too. It's just calm, peaceful. The sunrise. It's got a different a little bit of a different vibe. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. Hello. Oh, 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 oh,